So preparing for exams is something we hear students ask about a lot. Technically, each time you attend and participate in class or work in Alex, you're preparing for exams, but some additional strategies specific to exam prep can totally help boost your preparedness. So here are six favorites to get you test ready. Some of them are practical and some are more about awareness, but each one is going to help you achieve mastery. Strategy one. Create your own study guide and add to it weekly. Design your notes in a way you can use them later to quiz yourself. Leave space on the page to write questions as a system for review, and then cover the work beside the question. Can you answer it without looking? Can you copy a problem and close your notebook and explain how it's solved without any help? If yes, that's awesome, and keep going. If no, pay attention and keep practicing. Strategy two, practice, practice, and practice some more. More often than not, we hear students talk about studying by way of reviewing, but not practice testing. Tests are integral to learning, and the act of quizzing yourself is one of the best study activities there is. So we're suggesting that you go beyond the assigned work in class and on Alex in order to prepare for taking the exam. If you need more problems, use your Alex review section, or try writing your own problems, or work with someone to write problems for each other. If you can't solve practice problems without notes, you know what you need to keep working on, so keep working on it. Strategy three, mix it up. In Alex, you learn goal topics and modules in a certain order, but on the test, the order is definitely going to change. Concepts from the end of the term might show up in the middle or the beginning of the test. Prepare by interleaving your practice. Instead of spending an hour on problems from a single goal topic, work on problems from different modules simultaneously, so your brain learns to identify the problem type and find the steps to solve any problem in any order. It feels great to be able to do this. Strategy four, check in with old friends. We mean concepts and problem types, but maybe you're studying with old friends too, which is also great. Make a habit of revisiting prior material. Each week, try using the 80-20 rule. Spend 80% of your time practicing new material from the current week and 20% practicing material from previous weeks or topics. When you continue to practice what you've already learned, you're cementing that learning and improving your ability to recall and apply that learning elsewhere. Strategy five, make group work work. Plan it out and consider ways to make it dynamic, creative, and productive. It's Super annoying when you get together with people and nothing really happens. So have everyone write a few questions and make a quiz together, or take turns teaching concepts and fielding questions, or spend time coming up with possible mistakes someone might make on a certain problem. In all these instances, you're tapping into your awareness, which leads to our last strategy. Strategy six, keep tabs on yourself. What's been pretty easy and what's stumped you? Use this understanding to make your exam prep more effective and efficient. If you know material well enough to solve the problems with nothing but your amazing brain, move on to the problems that don't come as easily and practice till they do. You're working towards mastery. Basically, the more consistently you practice and evaluate yourself, the more you're already preparing for tests. So make cramming a thing of the past and get ready to feel less stressed and more confident. You're awesome and you can do this.